We receive items of evidence. In this case, we receive rape kits and clothing, and we will open the kit and we will inventory what is inside. Often we receive orifice samples, skin stain swabs, and DNA standards. We will then look for body fluids such as semen, and we'll perform presumptive tests, which are color change tests. We will look for a purple color change if it's positive, and we'll collect samples and forward them for DNA analysis. So in this room, we do manual DNA extractions, and essentially what we do is we receive items of evidence from the biologists in the next room, and we will do, we'll engage in a chemical process that will break open the cells and uh, we'll isolate the DNA in those samples. So in the differential process, which is known as the semen extraction, we try to separate male and female cells. So we can come up with one tube that will have the female DNA and one tube that will have the cells from the male. This is our liquid handling robot, which performs all the automated duties that we normally would do by hand. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna transfer these 16 samples from these tubes into a tray. At that point, the DNA will then be broken down with another chemical that will be added and it will be washed repeatedly. Using the magnetic properties we can grab the DNA with these magnetic beads we have and hold it separately from the rest of the cell and we can wash the solution, thus taking all of the extraneous material out leaving the purified DNA. Once that is done and then we want to get to separate the DNA, we adjust the pH and adjust the temperature and it releases the DNA and then we suck the DNA off into the extracted plate. A sample comes into this room, it is at the amplification step, and amplification is where millions of copies of target DNA are created and fluorescently labeled. And then from the amplification step from the thermocycler, we place the samples onto another liquid handler that allows us to efficiently transfer the samples from the amplification plate to another plate that is utilized on the genetic analyzer. and then a, the computer will go through and cause a genetic analyzer, will do, go through an electrokinetic reaction, allowing the DNA to be analyzed, generating a profile. This right here is an individual's DNA profile. We are looking at 15 locations within one's DNA plus a sex determination. And these 15 locations are what we use for comparison purposes when comparing evidence samples to known reference standards collected by law enforcement. And this way we'll either include or exclude an individual from being a contributor to the crime scene. From there we then issue the report either saying this individual cannot be excluded, meaning he is the source of the DNA found at the crime scene, or we will issue a report saying this individual is not the source of the DNA.